Hi everyone, good morning. I'm just going to go over background effects. We've got this sign, Joyce's Perch. And I've done a, it's all routed out. But I want to get, uh, I don't want a smooth background. I want a uh, gouged effect. I, with Pine, I don't like to really do smooth backgrounds because it's so chippy. It's, it takes so much work, I don't think it's really worth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use three chisels. I'm going to use uh, 25 mil number five, uh, 16 mil number five, and number seven gouge to take out that background. Now, the trick to doing this without damaging the letters is to give yourself a cut line around the lines. I used a 60 degree V groove and I haven't quite removed the background all the way down to the bottom of that line. That's my cut line for the gouges. I just want a real subtle effect. That way you don't have to get right up to the letter, you stop just short. All right, so what we're going to do is a real light, gentle, sweeping motion. The biggest trick to this is to make sure your gouges are very sharp. And then you won't have any tearing or cutting. You don't want to do one long strip, you just want to do lots of little ones. So we're coming out pretty good. You can see there's the gouge look. There is the other side. I haven't done that yet. You can still see the router marks. But invariably as you're doing this, you will find that your gouges are going to start to get dull. So I'm going to show you real quick how I keep a nice sharp edge on them. I'm going to use, I'm not using any uh, stones, anything like that. I'm going to be use a piece of cowhide stuck on a board. I'm going to use some green polishing compound. So I'm going to go that down. I'm just going to rub that on there. Now, when you're doing the gouge, you've got to do two sides. You've got to do the exterior and the interior. So I'll start with the exterior. Just a piece of a uh, hide, rough side down. I'm just going to drag it across. I've already got a pretty good edge on this, so this won't take very long. See, as I'm doing it, I'm rotating. And I'm never pushing, I'm only pulling. Alright, so getting the outside done, nice polished edge. Now for the inside, I don't have slip stones. What I use is 2,000, 3,000 grit uh, wet dry paper. Roll it into a little tube. I force the tube to match the inside. And I just give it a few rubs. Because as you're polishing, as I'm stropping it this way, I'm building up a lip coming that way. So what I'm using the sandpaper for is to push that lip back the other way. Little quick rub. That feels very nice. Now see that what? Two minutes. And I am ready to go again. As I'm doing this, I don't know if you've noticed, but I at no point in time do I go cross grain. If I go cross grain, I tend to get, uh, especially on pine, I get tear out. 
uh, it leaves quite a nasty background, so I'm only either going to go, always going to go with the grain. But what I wanted to say too, like I've got a, a few little spots here where I've gone below my cut line. So you can either take the router and you can go over again, or you can use a uh, cutting knife. This is just a little flex cut carving knife. And what I'll do is I'll just follow my pattern there making a new cut line. That way you're not tempted to try to go too deep or try to do the impossible with uh, your gouge. Yeah, you're just looking for a really light line. Now you're just scoring the surface and that should be enough. Okay, looks good. Now for little tricky bits between the letters, you can either use the real tip, just the very corner of it, Or you can go back and you can use a knife. If you've got some finer uh, gouges, that works well too. Okay, so that's the whole background of the sign pretty much done. Now I just need to get in among the letters. And I'll use two tools. Uh, you can use a curved bent back gouge or just a little cheap cutting knife. These things are like uh, you know, five pounds for a set. They're rubbish when you first get them. But spend a little time sharpening them and they work quite well. Because with the soft metal gouges it so uh, you can actually get them very sharp and they fit into nice little tight spots which is good and if I use this one If you get your little wedges, you get your little feathers like that that don't want to come off. Just get your knife again. Quick score line. And they're all good. Okay, that's it. Pretty simple pine sign, uh, given that gouged effect. Now you don't need expensive chisels to do this or gouges to this. What you do need are just sharp ones. Um, most important thing, remember that cut line 
go slowly with the chisels. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this, uh, I'm going to paint the background black and deliver. We're all done. Hope you guys enjoyed that, hope you liked it, uh, and that it was helpful. Thanks for watching.